Spirantization is a word that is synonymous with fricativization, which is more difficult to pronounce. Basically, spirantization is a process of becoming a spirant. Spirantization is a process by which the manner of articulation of a non-fricative sound changes to fricative. These non-fricatives are plosives or plosive consonants. So, Fricative is a phonetic category of consonant sounds on the basis of manner of articulation, as you can see in the IPA chart. Plosive changing to fricative, that's a spirantization. For more on how fricatives are produced, watch my video entitled Fricatives. Examples of spirantization are when voiceless plosives pataka become voiceless fricatives fa, tha, and ha. You might ask yourself, why would such a thing happen? The thing is, the spirantization doesn't have to be a process of variation within the same language at the same time. It can actually be a process of historical change, which means that a language that used to have pa in certain words, that pa sound gradually through history, through probably hundreds of years, that pa changed to fa. You could be wondering what languages could undergo such change. One of the most obvious and well studied or best studied examples is the Spanish language. For example, throughout the history of the Spanish language, Voiced plosives occurring an intervocalic in an intervocalic position underwent spirantization. Thus, the plosive ga in the intervocalic position in the word lugar, which would be how people would pronounce the word if their first language is not Spanish, if they're learning Spanish, they might say lugar, which is understandable. The point is most Spanish speakers, especially when they speak fast, they do not pronounce the G sound as G, they actually spirantize it or fricativize it, which is more difficult to say, so I say I'm going to stick to spirantize. They spirantize that G sound into R and they say something like LOAR. The same process in Spanish has changed into vocalic B into V. For example, LAUIOS. Here the B would be spirantized the LAUIO. The same process has changed voice dental alveolar plosive D into the. For example, the word for adios, you might think it's adios, but it is adios. In Spanish, when you say intervocalic, it doesn't have to be inside the same word. So the word bota in which the ba does not occur intervocalically is pronounced like a regular ba in English, for example, which is bilabial plosive. But then, because the word is grammatically feminine in Spanish, when you put the definite article la, suddenly you get a vowel before the initial word initial ba, and the word initial ba becomes intervocalic in the phrase. Therefore, the pronunciation becomes la bota. The same thing happens, dota, la dota, gota, la ota, 